Okay, so here we are now. We're a brother, I guess. A brother in the Brotherhood of Steel. They've... I've done a couple things for them. They made me a knight out of nowhere. Um... I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go to data. Okay, that's our quarter mastery deal. So, looks, it looks like we're kind of free to go here, unless something else is supposed to happen. Where's, uh, there's my buddy. What's our location here? The Boston Airport. So we can... Wait a minute. This is a settlement? Are you serious? That's showing up like Don't it's a settlement. Brother. We're here to save the copy. By Elder Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. Yeah, that's what you guys have been doing for a long time. I'm just wondering, is this a workshop? And what's shooting at what here now? Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. Well, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to gear down. We're going to go to Norhagden. Norhagden Beach here. You can still hear... You can still hear, you know, a vertebrate someplace. Okay, what we're going to do is... Let's find some place particularly significant to park this. Okay. The lookout point. And that's good. This is a particularly good set of armor, so we're going to... Let's see. What was it? There we go. Eject from here. Transfer. Pull the core. And now it's parked. But now, we're going to fast travel right back to the Boston Airport. And don't get me wrong, without the armor, I'm still plenty beefy here. We've got a lot going on. Fucking ballistic fiber reinforced everything. But there's another, I think one of those sets of armors up on the, uh, the Pritowin is mine. So we can go get that. Just for the, the, get that whole collector vibe, that whole thing I got going, going there. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I can go get that piece of armor just to feed that collector drive. Even though I don't need it. Where do we go in to get to the Pritowin? Remember your bronze center mass. You may notice I have a, a bit of a sore throat. This is our supply depot. Unless you're here on official business, I need you to clear up. Ah, so I shouldn't wonder if I use this. Any outgoing supplies? Alright, just tell you stuff. There's gotta be some way that that's useful. Anyone foolish enough to get hurt during practice can find their own way up to sick bay. Otherwise, use the range and use the So how do we get up there now? It's gonna be a way how you get up to the prison. Any sense. Shoot to kill. We don't take prison. Is it just something where I can zoom in? And, and get to the... Oh, here we are. Just fast travel. That looks like a settlement as well. I mean, am I supposed to build this up? That means we'd have to have a supply line between the Pridoin and everything else. And if I hold V, it doesn't really kick into the... It doesn't kick in like it's... The settlement. I haven't seen a workshop. That goes to the command deck. I don't think we want to go there. That's not anywhere. You haven't lived until you tipped a Brahmin with a bird. bird. Now that's a challenge. That's a command deck. Where's the... Let's be on the command deck. Let's see. If... Where did I leave that? Liberating the Commonwealth is a... Where did I 
leave that armor. Let's go downstairs. Nope, not down here. Where the heck is the um Ford okay. reactor? It's on the foredeck. Well, whatever it is, it takes a little while to load. That looks cool. It's just uh, the front. Okay, so that didn't buy us much. I'm just trying to see where the heck that armor went. They know I get armor. Black deck. There's another access point somewhere here. Now, don't criticize me, guys. I know, I know you might have just watched the the video where I was just here, but it's been a little bit. Need a resupply? Proctor Teagan set up a little shop. Bill Proctor Teagan, you know, you can always count on Proctor Teagan. If Elder Max in ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kick him over. Well, that's just great. Now this is. We already emptied that ammo box. Is it, what's this? Pack of cigarettes. Okay, that's just great. I had the same struggle when I first found the darn thing. So it's got to be... I think you should stay away from ferals for the most part. They're, they're not a lot of fun. What am I missing here? There's gotta be... There's... Studley do right himself. And you go... Main deck! That's it, there's a ladder. It's not just a decorative structure. You go to the main deck. You don't think the command deck being near the bottom and the main deck being... But it's a blimp, so it's, it's inverted from what you'd think, probably. Or Maxon's just afraid of heights. Okay, so I'm a knight. Right? So somewhere up in here. Oh, Rad X and an antifreeze bottle. That's that good. could come in handy. It could. That's some health things in there. Walk through here. Can you Paladin believe dance. Of replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. So here we have. It's, you know, Brotherhood of Steel T60B, which is kind of nice. Are they all the same? That's owned. That's owned. That means this one over here... Night. ...should be... Enter. Nighten it up. I'm Florence Nightingale. That means a coroner. Alright. So this was kind of the goal of uh, this whole video. Now where do we go from here? Let's see if we can talk to people. Come find me when you're done checking in with Max and Dance. Okay, well we can talk to Dance, the dancer. Oh god. <sighs> On his there you are. Really bad. How did it go with Elder Max? Excuse me. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. You take that. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. True, Since I Since I've been it. officially assigned to you as your sponsor, 
I'd recommend taking me along with you. Okay, let's do. Let's go. That'll send the, what's his name someplace. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Send Longfellow back to the slug. Completed! Shadow of Steel! Alright, so that was like a see you later, Longfellow. I, I don't know if I gained all that much uh, keeping you around. Started! Tour of Duty! Meet Proctor, Proctor, Proctor! I think you should stay on point. Your instincts seem to be right on target. Okay, so we gotta talk to everybody here now. If it was up to me, I'd take every feral, mutie, and synth and shoot them into space. Okay, I see I see a target over here. It's a cat. That means something. Ah, oh, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What's that neck thing he's doing? Let's see. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Like, what Medical good could records, this do? science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. The armored collar. What exactly is a research patrol? Simply put, we send a small two-man team to scout a location and evaluate its technical and historical relevance saves us from sending an entire retrieval team to a worthless location. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Okay, so, that's one. You're supposed to be showing me around, yet I gotta lead. Kabunka, bunka. No matter how many battles we win, there's always another fight ahead of us. That's usually how that goes. Yeah, you're not a person. How can a machine believe it's alive? It's ridiculous. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. To us proud. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, now what a Hey! Walking away like that is just plain rude. I wasn't trying to see ya. Proctor Ingram. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the prid one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Okay, let's let's do this. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. 
And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I didn't notice that she had missing legs. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. I did not notice that. Look at that. Wow. That's an interesting thing that they would, you know, consider that. That's one thing that the power armor suits would be great for. Interesting that they went that way. Interesting that they, uh, they decided to point out, hey, you know what this would be great for? We're not that far off from that technology, really. Give it a couple of years. Let's see, who else is there? We've got other markers. This one's close. In behind this way. Doc doctorness, I Glad guess. you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? We gotta go, sir. Let's, let's let's do a quick save. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum jelly and rubber gloves, I'm ready. No, no, this isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question: As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Let's do the before the war. There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? seriously sick in my life good good third question and please answer honestly have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human <laughs> I gotta go start chat let's, let's, let's do it again well there was this one really ugly girl in college I mean I had to get drunk and it was a dare and ugh. that hardly qualifies <laughs> so I, this is terrible put, no Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Hmm, a tape. Night Captain Cade's report. Medical report. Night Captain Cade reported. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore, exceedingly dangerous. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, state the nature of your I'm not sure emergency. how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. All right. What's new, Doc? Got nothing. Sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Could 
use some supplies, actually. Scribes have been stocking us up. Help yourself. Okay. That's another place to uh, buy stuff. Let's see what we got here. Shipment of antiseptic, and then we're not gonna go crazy here. No, let's do this. And exit. What's the name? Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Love a Star Trek Next Generation reference. And now. Walk through here. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Oh, here we go. Walk around this way. Walk around. Ah, quartermaster. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Hey, check it out! It's an XO one helmet. And a mini nuke. And a mini nuke launcher. Another mini nuke. There's stuff there. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. And this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. You can help yourself to anything you can find. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay. Well, it should be. That should be it. Okay, so that's the. That's... Gladly lay down my life to keep humanity from repeating the apocalypse. So that's tour of duty. Hey, what do you want? Paladin dance. What's up? Your thoughts? Give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. That was it? Affirmative. Okay, so now we've got a new mission. Show no mercy. Show no mercy. Okay. Should we take that one on now, or should we save that for another... Yeah! What the heck. We'll take it on now. We have to go down. The... Okay. Go down the hole. Maxon's not in his normal spot. What are we showing no mercy against? That will be interesting. Nothing to report right now, Knight. Yeah, I, right, that's... Where the heck is, um, where am I going? Straight ahead, apparently. The aft thrusters are spiking. Oh, you're on the back here. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. What training? Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, 
They're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? What do these shells do? The Fat Man Launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man-portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but ah! it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Now, I've already blasted some of the stuff from Fort Strong. I wasn't nearly as leveled back then as I am now. Which one are we going to? This one over here? But we should be able to handle this. This with my shotgun. But if we can pelt Fort Strong with machine gun bullets and take out anything that's above ground. No? Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood from striking us to the city. I just put us on the ground. Okay. Well, guess what, folks? If we can fast travel to Fort Strong. Let's see, let's before we do that though. Let us look at our inventory. What are we what are we carry in here? Got 310 shells, that should be enough for this. We got a lot more from the uh, Overseer's Guardian, which is another good one. That might be better inside. But for right now we're just gonna run with this. Okay, dance, are you ready to dance? Fast traveling. Strong. We could have just gone to Norhogden Beach and then walked over, but you know, let's get into it. Probably put at least two super mutants right next to me. Which is how I like it. There's gonna be a behemoth. Okay, no one said anything about a behemoth. Okay, I just dropped up a game if I get a Uh, let's uh, heal up a little bit here. Just a little stimpy stimpy action, just to... Okay, so he's, he's gunning stuff. What the heck is launching that at? Oh, a legendary! One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The red powered left pack left. Bracer, okay. Oh, we'll take that, we'll take everything else. Dance, yeah, why does it take you so long to kill everything? Yeah. Okay, there was a lot of stuff in Fort Strong. Should the need arise, this fortification would make an excellent fallback point. 
Yeah, I would. Where is that behemoth that we blew to heck and like nothing flat with this with this shotgun? I mean, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, here we go. Fusion cells, death claw me, death claw hand. Should we go into first run? It's probably a, a mission to do that. Yeah, no, I'm carrying too much, but... Toy rocket ships, cool stuff, cool stuff. Yeah, nothing really. Should be able to grab that. Bunsen burner and a tall flask. Some bottle caps. I'm not gonna steal flowers off a grave, but Okay, let's flash travel. A short bit away here. stick to the uniform for the short bit. I mean, I, I lose a little bit of ability based on all the stuff I put into my main uniform. We'll play the part, you know? Start the job, get rid of this stuff, don't really need that. That's kind of neat. Probably more use the overshears, over shears, overseer's guardian, but that's a lot more. That's got eight thousand rounds to it. So I mean, there's something to that. Um, inventory, weapons, apparel. Some more dirty army fatigues. Gunner harness. See, what is that? What, plus one a charm and intelligence. Sharp, improved, operator's heavy chest piece. When she says, what chest piece am I wearing? Acadia's shield. Yuli intelligence and dirty. Yeah, this is good, but not good enough. All right. And yeah, we'll leave Zeke's jacket and jeans out here for the time being. We should, we should you know what we should do? We should, uh, Right now I'm wearing armored army fatigues. But we could probably up armor the Zeke stuff. Okay, so now I got room to, to, to do stuff with. Let's go back here. Now that I can carry some Junkola. Yeah, this is part of the mission, I think, is to go in. Could be some explosive things going on here. Let's bring the boom. Business be booming. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah, I've been here before. It's not pretty. This free. area seems to be in disarray. No green this up is here. I hear something. Someone there? That sound. What is it? Time to die! Where are they coming from? I'll wear your guts around my neck! Hold up. I think we're being. Ah! I set myself on the ground there a little bit. Only one of us are ah! oh! and it won't be you! Okay, let's switch to the Overseer's um, rifle here. The Overseer's Guardian, just for the heck of it. Just so that we don't blow ourselves up. Now 
that does a pretty darn good job. Oh no, great. Now we're gonna, this is gonna be like un unusable because there's a radio. Yeah, mighty mighty man in the background. Like, oh, this is now a music video. You can't. Uh... Yeah, this, the Overseer's Guardian is really a good gun. I don't know if you've ever known that. It's... You got a stick. I got a gun. I got a really good gun. I kind of like the explosive shotgun better. Ooh, a flag. Yeah, I like that. Simply because it blows stuff so completely to heck. Yeah, that's just. Let's see, we'll pop this open. Good ink. I've heard of breaching a door. This is a lot quieter. Oh, yeah. Lots of good stuff's in there. Mini nuke. Nice. General Brock's terminal. Fort Strong. Oh man, before the war. As of today, command of Fort Strong has passed to me. I am looking forward to helping the US Army test some of its experimental weapon systems at our facility. I've already had the men preparing the island for testing operations by tearing down the old barracks and constructing a simulated town. Since we'll be fighting the enemy on an urban front, I think it's best to test these weapons. The best way to test these weapons is by seeing how well they punch through civilian structures. And plus, that would look really cool. That was in June. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's the same one as before. We have to, let's... September. We've been testing a new batch of the T-51B power armor suits. Okay, so that gives it a time scale there for the T-51B as far as this is concerned. So uh, two years before uh, the war. You hear about the T-51B being launched at the Battle of Anchorage. You know, first really deployed. Let's roll off the assembly. I'm impressed with the amount of protection they afford our soldiers, yet allow them a great deal of mobility. I've noticed that the soldiers are still having trouble jumping in these things. Because of the suit's weight, they often have to they often tip over on hard landings. I've had the maintenance boys look at it and they suggested adding a gyroscope and shock absorbers to the lower torso. I'll pass it up the chain and see if they can get Washington to spend the extra money it'll cost for the modification. Yes. Well thank you, General Brock. That probably comes in uh in handy. Come on. Brock, we gotta go down one. We to, let's use the keyboard to uh, to maneuver. Things are starting to heat up over us here, so Washington is pushing us to cut our project turnaround times in half. I told them that it would be dangerous, but it seems like we don't have much of a choice. I've decided to split my staff into an Alpha team and a Bravo team so that we can work on two projects at the same time. The manpower will be reduced, but I'm convinced that we're still able to maintain our new schedule. I'm going to put Alpha Teen on the power armor and Bravo on the new M42 Fat Man launcher. So this is where they developed the Fat Man. Alpha Teen just shipped out the first batch of 51B suits to the front line in China. Okay. Reports are already coming in that the suits are performing better than expected, chewing through enemy tanks and armor like they were paper. Word has it that some of the enemy troops are even surrendering when they catch sight of the power armor troops, hauling their 5mm miniguns. Looks like the Alpha team has earned themselves a weekend pass in Boston. December 2076. Bravo team is having a heck of a time getting the M42s to not to shoot far enough away from its firing position. The problem is that the warhead is still too heavy to re to fire the distance required. Our simulated soldiers are still soaking far too many rads and suffering blast burns. One of the technicians has suggested a radical idea of using a conventional depleting subcharges to catapult around rapidly out of the launcher. His calculation looks sound, so I'm going to let him give it a try. I guess we know how that worked out. September 2077, a month before the end. After a few design setbacks and the loss of one of our testing squads, oh God, 
We finally perfected the M42 launcher's firing mechanism. Washington has been riding me to ramp this project up, but with a weapon this potent, I was inclined to take my time. We've sent the launchers ahead to the supply yard in Mississippi, and we're just waiting for the go-ahead to ship the warheads wherever they need to go. Hopefully, we can get those nukes out of here before this month is up. I don't feel comfortable sleeping 20 feet above enough nukes to reduce this island to ash. Haha, <laughs> but they're valuable. And the U.S. Covert Operation Manual, yes! Hell yeah. Permanently more difficult to detect while sneaking. Take that. All right. Hopefully there's something useful here. There's so much useful here, it's not even funny. Don't get excited. It's just some scrap. You don't know how I use scrap, Dan. This Dance. area's obviously been abandoned for quite some time. Do you think? Uh, we've got the Fort Strong key now. With some bones and stuff. Once you become a complete scrap daddy, then you end up taking everything, you know? Okay, an elevator. That's usually important. And if I know anything... Let's... Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. And he actually fits in. That's impressive. I have like three tons of steel going down here. Hello! Not a lot of room. We're clipping and stuff here, and if the elevator's not a problem, yeah, it'll just... Hasn't been maintained in 200 years. And here we go. You could call a bottle? Nothing in the desk? Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Gee, you think? I'm wondering is exactly how many more super mutants are we going to have to go through. This doesn't look like it's friendly. Skull. Okay. Empty paint can, tin can. A comfy pillow! You know, I like to hang on to the comfy pillows. Take the adjustable wrench. And the telephone, stim pack right away, deflated right kickball and a straw pillow, and a right away. Getting hungry. Okay. I don't think we're alone. Well, what, was, what was the part that you... Okay, we got glowing mutant hound. This equipment's here for a reason. Let's find out why. We may have a problem here. You think? Whoa, what the heck are we hitting this with? Okay, that dog had cool stuff. Hold on. Assassin's assault rifle. 50% more damage against humans. All right, I'll be... Wow! Maintain your position! One for good measure. He's got a rock on the He's got like that's like a mission kind of thing on him. That's weird. Gotcha. Where did you go? Oh, he's completed everything. Now we've now we can just talk to him and finish stuff off, right? I want some uh, the, some of the fat men. Anything else cool in here? Not really. Just walking around with a rib cage because he can, you know. 
maybe he likes to craft. You know, he might have been, you know, he's getting along. That's just too disgusting. I can't. Okay, where is Dancy do? He's not in the bathroom. Purified water? Purified water? Don't make me drink. It's an aloe vera plant. Boy, you know, that's what you should be grabbing. In this type of day and age, you need an aloe vera plant. Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Okay. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. We're dismissed, but... He just disappeared. He used it like a teleporter! <coughs> Excuse me. I wonder how long I'm going to run with this whole brotherhood thing before I break off and say, oh, I'll catch you guys around the flip side. Ah, the radio. So, there's warheads in there. I didn't see any, but there, there's some warheads. So we, and we read that they had them. Okay, we're gonna fast travel back to Northampton Beach. Pretty gun. First of all, we want to store all our junk. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's this stuff. We want to carry that with us. We don't need a minigun. We really don't need a minigun. Pipe sniper, blah blah. At some point, you take some time out and just go through all of my settlements, play dress up, and uh, get everybody with really good armor. Yeah, I don't even need that for right now. We've got a lot of ammo, of course. If we go to weapons. That, that, you know, Eddie's piece. That was a powerful laser gun, and you know, the one... Where is it? Two-shot boosted blah blah. That might be useful as a general purpose. To see you again. Now. Let us... Let's do a proper save. Are Your systems are continuing to talk. Fast travel to the Pridwin. The Pridwin. 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 Okay. And here we are rocking the Pridwin. 
Keep working that. That's right, you're, you have to dust this boat. If you're looking boat. for another safe haven, there's shelter and supplies at the police station in Cambridge. Yeah, have you seen Cambridge? It's a wonderful place. That's that's where I want to think of as a safe haven. I guess if you're around there, you know. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own. So we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Tegan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Well, all I've got left is no questions. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Now, I don't remember telling any of these people about Dr. Amari and my search for the glowing sea. Hmm. Interesting. It's very interesting. Does that mean... But now I'm at the point where they actually want me to just continue along. I've, I've done my bit for king and country here. It's fascinating. It still blows my mind that I cannot see my own... Uh, <laughs> my own settlement. It is there. It's all built up right there. And yet you can't see it. Come on, Bethesda. 
Well, on this note, you know, looking at a settlement I can't see, people think this is a good place to stop while we ponder which way we're going to go next. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>